that's all right. Hello and welcome to um, a special episode of Eat My Drink. Uh, today I am pretending everything is normal. Um, we actually, here in New Zealand, have had um, our country locked down because of the coronavirus. So today is day one of the lockdown. Um, quite a surreal thing actually, going outside, it's very quiet, um, everything is shut, it's the middle of the week and um, you know we're stuck inside in our, um, in our apartment. And so what better way to get stuck inside um, but reviewing whiskey. So, so there you go. So today I'm going to review um, one of my favorite bottlers, the Adelphi. The, bot uh, the bottlers are, um, I would consider to be a tier one bottler. Um, this particular one is actually the first time I've tried this particular distillery. So what I do is I don't like to try heaps of distilleries all at once. I, I like to focus on verticals. Um, I did that with Ben Rennes, um, I did that with Blair Athol, um, and, and so forth. But what I want to do today is get into Tiananic, Tiananic, or Tiananic, something like that, Tiananic. A little background, um, Tiananic, you'll probably never see them on the shelves. Um, it's something that um, just doesn't get produced in a single malt, especially a single barrel expression. Tiananic is actually a massive, massive distillery. It produces vast quantities, vast quantities of spirit. Um, they don't really tell, well, not really, we don't really know where they go exactly. Uh, we just know that they create massive amounts of spirit. So really, you know, um, <laughs> they must go somewhere. Um, I know that, um, well, according to Wikipedia and some whiskey, um, some whiskey articles out there, um, young, young Tinenic goes into Johnny Walker Red Label. So Johnny Walker Red Label is not even whiskey yet. It is export spirit because it's under three years old. Um, but don't judge it by that because Johnny Walker Red Label is shit. Um, judge it when it's actually whiskey, especially in its single malt, single barrel expression. And today, my first one is going to be the Adelphi Tinenic 12 year old. It is actually um, from a PX cask, which is extra exciting as well. I just want to hold up the color there, just so you can see. Just so you can see that absolutely, I mean, I can't even see, there's no visibility. It's like the Amazon River, you know, the Amazon River right there. There's no, there's no um, visibility through that. Not much light comes through. Um, absolutely stunning looking bottle. Um, <clears throat> and as per usual, I will put a few drops of water in one. This is a 52.9%. So 52.9% for a 12 year old is actually not massive ABV. So it must have been a relatively um, active barrel. And as you can see by the color, it probably was. Anyway, let's get nosing and let's get tasting. And look, as you can see, I am in my um, small confined space compared to the outdoor grassy tree covered area. But I thought I'd do a uh, day one lockdown dram. Whoa, yeah, straight away, straight away, you're getting that fruitcake spice. I'm getting uh, quite a lot of vanilla though, quite resiny on the nose, quite a punchy spirit actually. It's um, a sort of dirty smelling spirit, but earthy. And I'm getting a distinct smell of cola syrup, you know, like when you've got that cola syrup in fast food outlets and they've got too much cola water ratio and you've got just a little bit too much cola, I'm getting a bit of that. I'm getting um, a bit of ginger spice, cinnamon, nutmeg. I'm getting liquid raisin. But I'm also getting a minerality from it as well. I'm getting a fragrance, a jasmine fragrance. Man, this, the nose is outstanding. Absolutely, absolutely stunning nose. Oh, wow. I'm getting like an incense as well, like an Indian incense. You know, when you go to an Indian shop and you've got that, the shop's full of spices, incense. I'm getting some of that as well. But that earthiness and cola, that wet wood, Undeniable. Now I'm trying to dilute my smell. 
I'm getting a slightly fungal smell. It's a very, very slight fungal. Absolutely stunning. So let's uh, nose the one with water. Oh, okay. So with water, immediate change. With water, I'm getting much more brown sugar caramel. Actually, correct that. Burnt sugar caramel, golden syrup. It's just sugar, brown sugar all the way. With a bit of spice, condensed fruit. Man, when you close your eyes, it really just smells like Christmas cake. It's actually quite amazing. The earthiness and cola subsides a little and it becomes a little bit more perfumed. It becomes a little bit more perfumed like, you know what? Unburnt tobacco, like opening the humidor. You've got that wet, not wet, sorry. You've got that damp or semi-damp cedar, the Spanish red cedar and unburnt tobacco. That is outstanding, wow, wow. Now, just to let you know, I've actually had this before. Um, I mean, this is my first time trying, uh, reviewing a Tinenek, but I've had this a couple of days ago, so this has been open a little bit. Um, but just to kind of get my head around it, Oh, what a mouthfeel. What a mouthfeel. That is full on. That is a full on whiskey. Man. That is full on. You think someone likes sherry mature to sherry cask whiskey? Well, this is something else. It's like I've just put Play Doh in my mouth and it's coating my entire mouth with wax. It is oily, it is waxy. It is resiny, syrupy, thick and viscous. What a mouthfeel. That is astonishing. I'm going to tell you right now, this particular dram is excellent. And from this point, I'm going to be trying some single barrel Tinnix from now on. Hmm. Wow. It's viscous, it's thick. The mouthfeel is minerally. It's a little salty, which is strange, but it's a little saline. I'm getting some very, very slight savory notes to it. And I'm getting a hint of smoke as well. Um, not peat, but smoke. I'm definitely getting a hint of, actually, you know what? I'm gonna correct that, quite a bit of smoke. I'm getting just fruitcake galore. Um, and I'm getting a herbal, herbal feel to it as well. Not a, not a herbal flavor, but more the aftertaste of herbs. Well, you've got that slight astringency in the back of the palate mixed with bittersweet. You know what? I'm gonna describe this taste right now as raw cacao. You know, you know when you're chewing, chewing or having a smoothie with raw cacao in it um, and you're really getting that in your mouth and it's kind of slightly grainy but the fat slowly oozes out as you chew it. It's got that bitterness, the dryness, but slight sweetness to it as well. The fat, this is absolutely outstanding. This is so far one of the highlight whiskeys in the last six months. Uh, six months, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there and say it right now. I actually bought this from Dramfest, which is a New Zealand festival um, that happens every couple of years and they brought this in uh, that will limit one bottle per customer, but you should hopefully be able to still get it around the world or um, so your Adelphi agents. But this is absolutely outstanding. This might ruin my life because the first Tinanic I tried is absolutely outstanding and it's probably all downhill from there. Hopefully not. Let's try the one with water.
Mm. You know what? No water is better. I will never add water to this again. Um, for the remaining of that bottle, water takes away the character that I love most. It takes away the thickness, the viscous viscosity. It takes away that oomph. It takes away the smack in the face. Um, in my opinion, it subdues the flavor and flattens the curves and spikes of flavor. And I like that in a whiskey. You know, a lot of people go, oh, you know, um, it's smooth. What's smooth? What? So you eat chips um, and that's smooth because it's quite bland. But then, you know, you, 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 you eat like a, a spicy, a spicy nacho and that to me is flavor you want that spikes in flavor and so that's becomes too smooth if you like smooth then put water in it but if you want something that's compelling and interesting don't add water in it all of the character has subdued flattened so it's still pretty much the same i'm getting a lot more earthiness though but everything else seems to have disappeared with water which is a shame um, so I'm gonna say right now don't add water cigar pairings man this is such a robust whiskey I reckon it'll complement a lot of different cigars out there so it depends on your taste or your preference if you have a very peppery cigar the sweetness and the, the, the viscosity of this will help you um, deal with that peppery pepperiness and spiciness of the cigar if you've got a triple maduro that's super rich and you can handle that with a rich whiskey then do that that's what i would do i would have a maduro or a triple maduro or like a an undercrown i'd say an undercrown with this would be excellent um or a sun grown uh, would be absolutely excellent it'll just be like you know something like a, a thick thick maduro smoke would be fantastic with this particular uh, whiskey thank you for joining me for my first tianenic experience um, and uh, make sure during the lockdown, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Make sure you eat, you smoke, you drink. And um, stay inside. Stay inside unless you have to go out. Cheers.